Good morning, friends. Praise God from whom all blessings flow. Praise you, all creatures here below. Praise you above you, heavenly host. Praise Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. We thank God for all the privileges He has granted unto us to come unto His presence in this morning, to feel His uh, new grace, new faithfulness, which is new every morning. Let's uh, look to the Lord in prayer. <clears throat> Loving Father, we thank you and praise you for the privilege you have granted unto us to call you Abba Father. Help us, Lord, to have that affiliation continuously, the sonship. We praise thee, Master, for the provisions you have made for us to live, the grace you have granted unto us to be alive, and to seek thy face, to humble ourselves and seek thy face and to be a blessings for the edification and growth of the church thus far. Father, as we, your children, who are chosen by the precious blood of Jesus, we come unto thy presence, O Master, help us to feel thy presence as we seek thy truth wholeheartedly. Let our hearts and minds be touched by the power of the risen Lord. As we worship Thee, help us, Lord, to uh, experience the wonders and miracles that has come through Thy word. Father, glorify Thy name. In Jesus' most matchless name, we pray. Amen. Jesus, stand up. Praise to the Lord Almighty. It is found in the Methodist hymnal. Praise to the Lord Almighty. <laughs> Praise to the Lord. 
salvation comes from him truly he is my rock and my salvation he is my fortress i will never be shaken how long will you assault me would you all of you throw me down this leaning wall this tottering fence surely they intend to topple me from my lofty place they take delight in lies with their mouths they bless but in their hearts they curse yes my soul find rest in god my hope comes from him truly he is my rock and my salvation he is my fortress i will not be shaken my salvation and my honor depend on god he is my mighty rock my refuge trust in him at all times you people pour out your hearts to him for god is our refuge surely the low born are but a breath the high born are but a lie if weighed on a balance they are nothing together they are only a breath do not trust in extortion or put vain hope in stolen goods though your riches increase do not set your heart on them one thing god has spoken two things i have heard power belongs belongs to god and with you lord is unfailing love and you reward your everyone according to what they have done glory be to the father intercede for the various needs of the church and various needs of the people of god and um, we are really we are privileged children of god and we are commissioned or empowered to seek god in his presence and now this is an opportunity god given opportunity we have to humble ourselves to seek his face to be on our knees and uh, what all we ask in his name trusting his name and it will be given unto us that's the faith we have in god whom we trust and now i'll read out two few verses and then we will bow our head before the living god to pray <clears throat> the spirit of the sovereign lord is on me because the lord has anointed me to proclaim good news to the poor he has sent me to bind up the broken hearted to proclaim freedom for the captives to release from darkness for the prisoners to proclaim the year of the lord's favor and the day of vengeance of our god to comfort all who mourn and provide for those who grieve in zion to bestow on them crown of beauty instead of ashes 
the oil of joy instead of mourning and a garment of praise instead of a spirit of despair. They will be called oaks of righteousness, a planting of the Lord for the display of his splendor. Let's look to the Lord in prayer. <clears throat> Loving Heavenly Father, we thank you for your only begotten Son, in whom we have the fullness of life, the complete life, the everlasting life, the eternal life. Father, we praise thee, Lord, for the joy, the delight you have granted unto us through the word, through the name Jesus, through the gift of life and gift of salvation in the form of Jesus of Nazareth who dwells amongst us, Lord. <clears throat> the God whom we serve, whom we worship, is a miracle worker, a wonder-working God. And He has taught us how to pray because He has chosen us before we were formed in our mother's womb. Father God, we, uh, we are not able to comprehend the love Thou has shown in our lives, O Master. As we were aliens, and we were strangers and we have gone astray. Yet, Father God, thy rope of love, Father God, dragged us, Lord, to be in your fold, to be a royal diadem, to be a signet ring, to be a thrashing sledge, sharp and strong. Father, we pray, O Lord, you have made us bowner case. To stir up the people of this world. To keep the world upside down with thy word. We are the chosen royal diadem. Chosen, chosen race. We are the royal priesthood. Father God, we are commissioned by thy living word, O Father. We praise thee, Master, for the ministry thou hast uh, uh, granted unto Melchizedek. And in that line, the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, in whom our sins are forgiven and in whom our, we are redeemed and we are bought at a price. We don't belong to us, Lord, and we belong to God, the Father Almighty, through Christ Jesus. We acknowledge this, uh, the remission of sins. We acknowledge the repentance. We acknowledge thy grace in all that we have done thus far. And you have rescued us from the foulest snare and the deadly pestilence. Father God, you, have, you are the God who has enveloped us, especially in times of pandemic, this situation, this evil days. And you have instructed us, call unto me in the day of trouble, I will deliver you. Father, you are the, the way you have guarded us from all trap of the devil and wicked schemes of satanic influences. It is marvelous and we praise thee, Master. We exalt thy name. We, we, our hearts are overwhelmed, filled with joy and happiness, O Master. Help us, Lord, to delight ourselves in you, and you are the God who satisfies all our heart's desire according to thy righteousness in glory. We thank you, Master, for the life giver, Christ Jesus, and we are filled with the life of Christ, O Master. Once again, Father, we beggar to thee, O Lord. We fall prostrate before thee. Let the life enter into all the organs of our body. Let the God of the let the God of trite universe, the creator, rule over us, Lord, and enable us, Master, to defeat the work of the devil, which is seen, which is troubling the people of all the nations. Father, we pray, O Lord, be gracious unto us. Have compassion on us, Lord, and cause thy face to shine on us, Lord, as the servant most high, servant of the most high, Moses. He came unto thy presence in the Mount Sinai prepared, and he could see thy glory, he could experience thy sovereignty, and he could impart thy blessings upon the people of Israel, the assembly. 
we thank you master for imparting thy divine and material blessings upon thy people father we pray o lord let the blessings of the father almighty son christ jesus and the holy ghost the comforter the intercessor the transformer rest and abide with us lord and make us lord the channel of blessings for the people around and let this house be filled with thy bounty o master let all the people who are worshiping thee in this morning let their hearts and minds be filled with thy glory o father touch each and every one of us and if there is any sickness let it be completely driven away let thy people be healed from the stripes you have taken on the cross 2000 years ago father we claim the effect of blood of jesus the in olden days the blood of abel spoke many things and father god we have the blood of christ which is still interceding for us we thank you master for all the blessings you have bestowed upon us father we pray for the church all the members of the church be gracious unto us lord and we, we praise the lord for the healing you have granted unto our beloved um, member of the church and you have enabled him to come out of the hospital and uh, you have brought him back to the house of master and still he is under medication father be gracious unto him and provide all his uh, needs so master physically and spiritually would all the rest of the treatment which is going on be effective and acceptable in thy sight o master be with all the dear ones who are helping him thank you master for answering our prayers and we do remember the our beloved one who has uh, father god consulted doctors and uh, as he was uh, as as he was advised is preparing for the reports and uh, investigations and uh, uh, father god the testings of blood and several other things Father, we pray, O oh Lord, nothing is impossible unto thee. Before we meet any physician on this earth, Father, we come unto thy presence. We pray for this beloved brother in Christ, O oh Master. Let the healing hand be upon him in the special way in this morning. Father, let him feel thy presence, O oh Master, and let him be healed completely before the Wednesday comes, O oh Master. And be with him, Lord, and let the power of the Holy Spirit perform miracle in the life of the chosen one, as he is a Father God, as he is an effective tool for the growth of the church and edification of the church. And bless him, this is, bless his beloved wife and the family, children and the grandchildren, O oh Father. Father, we do remember the elderly members of the church and amongst them, Father God, if they are any, if they are any sick, Father, let the healing hand be stretched out and let them be touched by the power of healing, O Master. And help them, Lord, to be strong and courageous within the house where they are and enable them, Lord, to do their assigned duties and responsibilities by themselves. And be with them, Lord, and take care of all their physical and material needs for thy glory. Father, we pray for the uh, uh, dear, dearly beloved who are still in need of thy grace. Extend thy grace unto such people, O Master. Pray for the people who are in isolation, self-quarantine, and uh, they are in solitary. Father God, let thy grace be sufficient unto them and protect them from all kinds of possible evil. Thank you, Master, for being with us as Emmanuel. We do remember the nation at large. Father, may as we, uh, as we are aware, as we, we know that many natural calamities disturbing the people every now and then, Father God, let the people, let their heart not be troubled. Let the people be preserved and protected from all the natural calamities and the pandemic and the other Father God affliction caused by the virus. Be with the people, O Lord, in a special way. And the care which is being rendered by the government in various ways and means, through various medias, through various modes, Father God, let it reach to the right people of oh father 
for the welfare of the nation, welfare of the people of the nation. Father, we do remember the migrant workers who are uh, uh, out of employment. In several cases, we as we uh, learn that many of the people commit, have committed suicide. Let it be stopped in your name because you are the God of compassion. You are the, you are the God who uh, touches the lives of the people to become radiant. Father God, you are the God who lifts the people from the lowly station. And we pray, O oh Lord, let the migrant laborers find strength in you. Let the migrant laborers, they are in search of job. Let them be given opportunity to serve in different capacities by which their livelihood would be made to master for your glory. Let the household be protected. We pray for all the church members and the ministries of the church. Father, bless one and all. We pray for the church at large, irrespective of all denominations, the parachurch organizations, the missionary organizations. Father, we uphold um, the, pre, the, the ministers who are serving in the vineyard. Apostles, prophets, the um, Father God, the evangelists, and the servants of God, the priests and the teachers, the fivefold ministry. Let the people who are gifted with this fivefold ministry be lifted up with thy word. Let the word touch all the uttermost parts of this earth through this fivefold ministry thou hast entrusted upon thy people. Father, bless the ministry, bless the ministers, and let it be used for the edification of the church and the reconciliation of the saints and for the evangelization. We praise thee, Master, for the way you have dealt with the people of God to make your salvation known unto thy people. Bless one and all. The things which we have asked, which we have not asked, be granted unto us. We pray for the message that has pre been prepared. Let it touch our hearts and minds. Let it, let it be a feeling to our solo master. Bless us, Lord. Let the miracle happen as we continuously sit at the, thy feet and bless us, Master, to be your children. Bless us, Lord, to be a channel of blessings for the people. Thank you, Lord, for answering our prayers. In Jesus' most miraculous name, who taught us to pray, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, power and glory forever and ever. scripture portion will be read to us. The first portion is taken from the second chronicles chapter 7 verses from 11 to 16 and the second portion is taken from the epistle of uh, Apostle Paul to Ephesian church chapter 6 verses from 10 to 20. The first Bible reading is taken from second chronicles <laughs> chapter 7 verse 11 to 16. When Solomon had finished the temple of the Lord and the royal palace and had succeeded in carrying out all he had in his mind to do in the temple of the Lord and in his own palace, the Lord appeared to him at night and said, I have heard your prayer and have chosen this place for myself as a temple for sacrifices. When I shut up the heavens so that there is no rain, or command locusts to devour the land, or send a plague among my people, if my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear them from heaven, and I will forgive their sin and will heal their land. Now my eyes will be open and my ears attentive to the prayers offered in this place. I have chosen and consecrated this temple so that my name may be there forever. My eyes and my heart will always be there. This is the word of the Lord. The second scripture reading is taken from Ephesians chapter 6 verse 10 to 20. 
the armor of God. Finally, be strong in the Lord and his, in his mighty power. Put on the full armor of God so that you can take your stand against the devil's schemes. For our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the power of this dark world and against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realms. Therefore, put on the full armor of God so that when the day of evil comes, you may be able to stand your ground and after you have done everything to stand, stand firm then with the belt of truth buckled around your waist, with the breastpiece of righteousness in place and with your feet fitted with the readiness that comes from the gospel of peace. In addition to all this, take up the shield of faith with which you can extinguish all the flaming arrows of the evil one. Take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit which is the word of God, and pray in the Spirit on all occasions with all kinds of prayers and requests. With this in mind, be alert and always keep on praying for all the Lord's people. Pray also for me that whenever I speak, words may be given to me so that I will fearlessly make known the mystery of the gospel, for which I am an ambassador in chains. Pray that I may declare it fearlessly as I should. This is the word of the Lord. Amen. Praise be to God. Now the, let's uh, affirm our faith by saying the Apostle Creed, which is found in uh, 738 at the back of the hymnal. Let's say the Apostle Creed. I believe in God the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son of the Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead and buried. The third day he rose from the dead, he ascended into heaven and sitteth at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body and the life everlasting. Amen. Now we will have the second hymnal, 159, I am thine, O Lord. Let's sing this uh, song together. Lord, 
Savior Jesus Christ and we are the privileged people even in the midst of the adverse situation, adverse circumstances caused by the devil, the coronavirus and God is so gracious unto his people and we are able to carry on the assigned duties and responsibilities with God-given grace, we praise God for the provision He has made for us to pull on our lives on this earth. And there was the time, <clears throat> everything in life of the disciples as well as the people of all the nations, it has become tougher and tougher day by day. Everywhere sin and the effect of sin caused by the natural calamities, epidemic and satanic influences was afflicting the people drastically. There was a drastic changes in the lives of the people in those days. And that was the time the word of God reminded the people, watch and pray. That's the title of today's message, watch and pray so that you will not fall into temptation. Jesus himself said, it is recorded in Matthew chapter 26 verse 41. Let's keep this title in all our ways, in all our deeds, in all our thoughts, because it is spoken by Christ Jesus. And it is for us, and He has instructed us watch and pray. Watch and pray. So we see trust and obey, for there is no other way. Watch and pray must play a major role in every victorious Christian. Without watch and pray, nothing can be done. We cannot live a holy life. We cannot lead a blameless life. We cannot be a witness in the midst of our children. Even we cannot carry on the household towards welfare. And we are not, we will not be able to be at safe. And what was the remedy those days? Answer is the life of Jesus. The life of Jesus transformed the society. It has made a great impact in the society. One single 
man with out sin he came into this earth and he evangelized the whole nations and eventually many people were added into the church who are who are being saved and what was the significance in the savior the savior of this world he took up all the infirmities and the diseases since on the cross what for he was sent he has come down he has emptied himself and came down in the form of flesh to go to bear our burdens and the pain confusion and he took up everything on the cross the condemnation was upon jesus of nazareth while he was taking all of our sins and trespasses he was completely collapsed on the cross this was the time jesus took up three of his disciples took jesus took three of his 12 disciples into the garden of gethsemane to pray because the hour was the hour of darkness and the darkness covered the earth and people they do, they did not have alternate way to live at peace with one another that was the scene jesus said could you not pray for one hour so that you will not fall in you will not fall into temptation watch and pray he we are instructed or we are expected to pray at least a hour at least an hour one hour a day a day consists 24 hours and jesus is asking in the garden of gethsemane having borne all our sins and griefs on the on him he is asking us could you not pray for an hour so that you will not fall into temptation it has nothing to do with jesus it is to do with the human kind we are instructed the lesson we receive today is to spend at least an hour in the presence of the lord that's how the title meant watch and pray watch be alert in your spirit and pray to god the more you pray you will impart the spiritual nurture spiritual blessings upon you and it will be naturally or automatically passed on to the broken world to the starving world and that's the scenario behind this and what will we get when we watch and pray there are many people they, their lifestyle is different lifestyle may be different from one another and the when god says watch and pray there is a um condition there is a there is a problem there is a there is an issue there is a life situation so to avoid all such things god says watch and pray my dear beloved how are we my dear friends do we take this word into our heart and obey the word of god and spend time in the presence of the lord at least an hour at least an hour watch and pray so that you will not fall into temptation to keep us away from temptation this is the shortcut way there is no other alternate way that's so jesus practiced and jesus showed us the model right watch and pray what will we get when we watch and pray there are three things we will get when we watch and pray first thing we will overcome temptation we will overcome temptation that's what exactly means watch and pray so that you will not fall into temptation so temptation is everywhere in every form many forms it will it is seen in the society in the house in the house within the house within the jurisdiction of relatives within the area in the society and beyond the boundary 
the this is seen temptation is seen matthew 6:13 in the beginning of jesus earthly ministry the disciples he approached jesus they they approached jesus and jesus teach me how to pray they did not know how to pray and jesus taught them that's the uh, that's the outcome of the teaching was lord's prayer and in that lord's prayer matthew 6:13 lead us not into temptation lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil see jesus taught the taught the followers to say this prayer to pronounce this prayer lead us not into temptation to um to gain this verse what do we do watch and pray quote and quote watch and pray we have to take this word watch and pray into our heart and let this let me let this word be in our heart forever so that we will be able to resist the temptation we will be able to overcome the temptation the outcome of the saints watch and pray is to overcome temptation and jesus did that jesus trained his followers in that way how ephesians 6:18 how to pray watch and pray watch we should be alert we should be so serious in the presence of the lord aware of the surroundings Ephesians 6:18 pray in the spirit not the casual prayer lord i have come and if it is thy will bless me if not according to your will it will be it will be like that it is not like that this is the time is the hectic time now these are the perilous days these are the evil days the evil is working beyond our understanding the devil is working but jesus is dominating the devil by the power of the holy spirit through the saints through the servants of god through the people who are redeemed by the blood of jesus saved people the god has added these people who are being saved unto the church and we will overcome the temptation how do we how do we pray pray in the spirit pray in the body pray in the mind pray in the spirit and this is very clear ephesians 6:18 pray in the spirit in the spirit the spirit will discern what to pray how to pray what form we should pray and on what ground we should pray to address what is to be addressed in prayer so the holy spirit will take a lead you allow yourself to the holy spirit to rule over you in prayer that's how it is exhorted pray in the spirit john 4:23 says according to john 4:23 the prayer is a vital part of the worship worshiping the lord and when samaritan woman came to jesus with the dialogue and jesus instructed the samaritan woman those who worship the father they have to worship the father in truth and spirit truth and spirit worship the lord in spirit so pray in spirit is very much focused on highlighted here prayer is a warfare prayer is not an ordinary business it's a warfare we are fighting with the powers and principalities we are fighting with the fighting against the devil who is causing turbulence disturbances in our life and society so it's a warfare uh, jacob experience which is mentioned in the genesis account he was wrestling throughout the night and early morning he was blessed by the lord because the persistent prayer the fervent prayer brought victory in the life of jacob and similarly there is no other way no other shortcut way watch and pray and it will keep us away from temptation it is it will help us to overcome temptation and pray in the spirit pray in the spirit worship in the spirit is very much highlighted and jacob experience there is a protocol ephesians 6:13 because 
way to pray in the spirit we stand against the flesh we in prayer we stand against the flesh how do we stand against the flesh flesh says you go and sleep spirit says don't go and sleep if you go and sleep if you go and lay down you will have some consequences in your body you will have some physical ailments see will be seen in your body and you will be um, going to doctor for several things so the body says the the, the body says you go and take rest so that's the uh, struggle between body and spirit mind and spirit jesus said you have to stand against the flesh work up the flesh work up the blood and stand against the rulers rulers who are ruling over us who are bossing over us who are dominating us through various means and medias through various doctrines through various ideologies and we should be we should we should stand against in prayer against authorities they are being corrupted they don't bother about the struggles of the human kind and to that maximum extent they may do that they are all human being so we have to stand firm in prayer and uh, according to ephesians 6 11 and 12 we need to stand against the powers and principalities powers of this dark forces and against the spiritual forces of devil of evil these are the struggle which is set before us how are we to conquer we have to be in we have to pray in the spirit in the spirit does it's knowing the knowing the value of prayer we are in the warfare and in the warfare we should be alert we should not feel any fatigue symptoms in our physical nature as well as the mental nature in spirit should be willing spirit is alert and uh, this um, uh, power we have to break through the barriers in prayer and then um, it is written whom to pray Ephesians 6:18 they have to pray to godly god's people that's the thing we are aware and when to pray psalm 55:17 when to pray evening morning and noon it is clearly written three times a day a psalmist david prayed and he has become a king to rule over the nations to feed the needs of the people of the nation land the shepherd boy became a great king because of watch and pray because of his prayer life and evening morning noon about noon this uh, david the shepherd prayed he said i cry out in distress and god answered i cry out in distress and god answered you just simply should not murmur with your lips it is not at all prayer pray in the spirit that's the high command from above watch and pray and david he cry out in distress and god answered his prayer daniel 63 this a reflection of what david did daniel prayed three times a day it is mentioned to overcome the temptation and he overcame he has overcome the temptation we need to seek the help of our savior to overcome the temptation we need to seek the help of our savior lord jesus christ it is recorded in hebrew 2:18 because jesus as a man a complete man sinless he came into this earth like one among us he has flesh he eats and he walk he walks along with his disciples and he took rest and he is uh, like an ordinary human being and he what for he 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 was well aware he is jesus is well aware of the human struggle so that's the verse is clear hebrews 8 2:18 because jesus himself suffered when he was tempted he is able to help those who are being tempted jesus himself suffered that's the written word jesus himself suffered as the son of man 
when he was tempted he was tempted by satan in at the initial stages of his ministry 40 days he was taken to wilderness and he has conquered the devil he has driven out the devil and we have that jesus the victorious jesus we have and he is he himself suffered and when he was tempted and he is able to help those who are being tempted so that's the thing we will be able to overcome the temptation when we watch and pray when we keep ourselves with watch and pray second thing we will be saved from evil when we have the watch and pray when we watch and pray we will be saved from evil evil is almost all around now we there is we cannot point out this is evil this is evil almost many everywhere we see evil nowadays so to avoid to overcome to uh, be saved this watch and pray will be helpful matthew 6 13 jesus uh, instructed the disciples deliver us from evil one evil is cruel evil is inhuman evil is devil evil is satan and jesus taught us deliver us from evil one so we need to ask god to deliver us from evil one so god is in control he will deliver us he is able to deliver us he is capable to deliver us yes we will see the deliverance from plague diseases curses and snares therefore psalm 50 15 says call unto me in the day of trouble i will deliver you so these are the these are the days of trouble so we are exhorted instructed to call unto god the father through christ jesus and he will deliver us god is the one to who de delivers us from the foulest snare and the deadly pestilence there are two categories of evil we see in the world there are two categories of evil we see in this world one is captivity slavery bonded in people are enslaved by satan second thing fear of death it is very clear hebrew 2 14 and 15 by the death of jesus he broke the power of the death that is devil death of the people of god death of the people in the society death in the sense eternal condemnation he took it on the he took on the he took on him by his death he has conquered and uh, by his death jesus freed the people from the fear of death so now the fear of death is seen anywhere everywhere because of because of this disguised virus and virus is causing lot of damages and uh, confusion and fear in the minds of the people even many uh, political leaders and uh, many business people they are making attempt to commit suicide many pe people who are in the uh, cine field they do they do commit we see many more witnesses in the through the medias so this uh, fear of death captures the even the people of god so god removes the fear of death by his own death on the cross he gave himself to abolish the fear of death caused by devil and putting that in the minds of the people of god so he broke the slavery he broke the clutches of devil he broke the captivity the nazareth manifesto to heal the sick break the clutches of devil and deliver the people from the clutches so that's how it is seen the two categories of sin we see captivity and fear of death hebrew 2 14 and 15 and psalm 46 1 says to find refuge god is our refuge there is no other alternate medicine it is written god is our refuge and strength and ever present help in trouble he is ever present he is approachable god is available and he is an ever present help in trouble he is a helper and he says i will help you 
more than 365 times the word fear God is mentioned in the Bible. So each day we have one one fear not. So God's the psalmist says God is my refuge and my fortress and he is my strength and shield. He is an ever present help in trouble. Our God is a consuming fire. Our God is a consuming fire. He consumes. See uh, 46.8 Psalm 46.8 Come and see what the Lord has done. The desolation he has brought on the earth. Desolation he has brought on the earth. In order the people to repent from their sins. In order the people to, to regret for what they have committed. God has brought down this. God has brought down the desolation. And 46.9 says. God makes war cease to the end of this year. And God wants to make a full stop over the war. God wants to, make, wants to cease the war. And he is in control now. When he says a word, the virus will be no more in the lives of the people of all the nations. It will be completely removed, eradicated. It will be completely eliminated from the face of this earth. So the control is in the hands of the Lord. The key is in the hands of the Lord. And the person who be, who be pleased is God and God alone. So we will be saved from evil when we watch and pray. We will be saved from evil. We will overcome temptation when we watch and pray. Secondly, we will be saved from evil when we watch and pray. That is again recorded in 2 Chronicles 7.13. It is very clear. When I send plague among my people, God permits God allows. And what for? 2 Chronicles 7.14 God expects His people to humble themselves. Humble themselves. And to pray. He expects the people to pray. He expects the people to seek His face. He expects His people to repent from their wicked ways. He expects His people to humble themselves. And He says, I will forgive their sins. And I will heal the land. Yes, watch and pray will save you from evil. Watch and pray will keep you away from temptation. Watch and pray will save you from evil and evil days. And third one, we will see again. Second Chronicles 29, if calamity comes upon us, whether a sword or judgment, a plague famine, we will cry in the presence of the Lord and God is so gracious and He will uh, drive out the demonic forces from the face of this earth. It is very clear. So the watch and pray leads us first towards salvation. Watch and pray leads us to keep us ourselves to uh, ourselves from temptation. Then watch and pray. When we watch and pray, we will have joy and delight. First one, we will overcome temptation. Second one, we will be saved from evil. Third one, we will have joy and delight. How it is possible? When we watch and pray according to his word, Psalm 43, 4. When I go to the altar of our God, whenever we go to the altar of God, we will be filled with joy, everlasting joy and delight. Our hearts will be overwhelmed with joy. Our hearts will be delighted in the word of God. Now, um, the Lord, it is, a, it, is a, it is seen in the life of Zachariah and Elizabeth. As they were serving the Lord in the holy presence of the Lord. And they have, they, they were uh, in need of many things in their household, in their house. Even they, they were, they, they don't, they did not have any child. And uh, many more um, lackings found in their lives. But still, uh, with the joy, they served the Lord. And God was looking at their heart. And they are serving me and I have to do something good for them. So God has ascertained in that line 
and as they served the Lord, one day an angel of the Lord appeared. Luke 1 10 to 14 is recorded. Luke 1 10 to 14. An angel of the Lord appeared before Sakraya and said, Sakraya, do not be afraid. Your prayers have been answered. See, in uh, as they were worshipping the Lord, as they were serving the Lord, they were praying. They were watching and praying. They were keeping watch and pray. And in their prayer was answered. That's how the, the God sent his angels. The angel, the angel communicated the message that you are fear not, Sakraya, your prayers have been answered. And it means you will have joy and delight. Your prayer when the when the moment our prayers are answered, the broken spirit will flee away. The contrite spirit will flee away. The bones which was broken by God will rejoice and be glad. But the moment we our prayers are answered, we will be filled with joy and delight. That what, that's what exactly happened in the lives of uh, Shakrai and Elizabeth. Jeremiah 15.16 says, When your word came, I ate them. They were my joy and heart's delight. When we desire on the word of God, it gives joy and delight. Nothing else. There is no way in this world found to seek joy and delight. Joy and delight comes from obeying the word. Comes from taking the word in our hearts. Jeremiah experienced the word when the moment the word came, I ate it. And it was joy and I found joy I ate it and they were my joy and my heart's delight what is the word what is the word what is the significance of the word what is the word Jeremiah 15 19 says if you repent I will restore you that's the word if you repent you know what what is your weakness what is your wrongdoing and if you have to take if you take if you are able to take a right Turn against right turn, right about turn, and you will be filled with joy and delight. Look, 1 10 and 11 says the very birth of Jesus himself itself a witness of joy and delight. Behold, there's joy to joy to the world by the birth of Jesus. So the moment we accept the Jesus of Nazareth, we will be filled with joy. That's called the joy of salvation. And our hearts will delight. Will be delighted. And Psalm 511 says, people who take refuge in the Lord, they will have joy and delight. People who take refuge in the Lord, not in princes, not in the worldly people, people who take refuge in the Lord, they will have joy and delight. And lastly, Isaiah 59, 16 says, Yes, God is in search of persons who, who intercede for the people of God. Will you surrender yourself to God or be ready to surrender ourselves to God? God is looking for the people who can make intercession for the people around who are struggling, who are trampled around in the society, caused by the evil, the the unseen virus so God is looking for the people yes God is in search of persons who can intercede for the people of God so when we uh, worship the Lord when we watch and pray three things will happen we will be able to overcome temptation we will be saved from evil and we will have joy and delight may God help us to uh, achieve to the milestone which is set before us to um, uh, to overcome the temptation to obtain salvation from evil and to have joy and delight through the word may God help us to be a channel of blessings to impart these three blessings unto the people whom God calls God be with you and God bless you Amen
few announcements. Uh, <coughs> the YouTube recording of worship service would be circulated in the WhatsApp after the worship service. Wednesday after the Zoom worship service. Wednesday, that is 26th of uh, August, intercessory prayer will meet at 7.30 p.m. on Zoom. Friday, 28th of uh, August, Bible study will meet on Zoom media at 7.30 p.m. WCS members, Women Society for Christian Service members are reminded to be prepared for the WCS Sunday which is scheduled on 6th of September 2020. I request all the WSS members to please be prepared for the WSS Sunday, which is scheduled to be held on 6th September 2020. But this 25th of August, Miss Davina Judith David, 27th of August, Mr. Jimmy Arapura, 28th of August, Mrs. Shanti Gainesh. May God bless this beloved one as they celebrate their special days. Let them have a long and healthy life in the presence of the Lord. God be with them and bless them. We have come into this end of this worship service. Shall we all sing 265 in the hymnal, I Need Thee Every Hour. Bless us, Lord, and as we depart from here, send us, Lord, with your heavenly riches to benediction. In Jesus' most matchless name, we pray. Amen. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up his countenance and be granted peace. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God the Father Almighty, and the sweet communion of the Holy Spirit, Rest and abide with you both now and forevermore.
bless you and God is with you. Take care.